What are we gonna? Oh, damn! What a terrible way to die. He was impaled. Ugh. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's see what's around here. Map. Nothing. Nice to know. Shelf. Who tells me the tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Ah, uh, yeah, it's when they used to hunt whales. Okay. Shelf. Empty space. Outline of dust. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Ah! So something was taken. But what? Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Huh. What's in the chest? Come on. Boots! Peter Carey's boots may look to be a size 8. Hmm. What's that? Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Well, that's all that's in that chest. Harpoon? Harpoons for hunting whales. Was he harpooned? Ugh. That kind of sucks. Because look, there's three supposed to be there, but uh, there's only two. I wonder if somebody took him out. Stabbed him. Eh. What else we got? Sea unicorn. Alright, let's, let's examine dead Peter. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Hmm. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Could be. Did Check out his face. His 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. So it wouldn't have been easy to take down. Pool of blood. Uh, okay. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. Looks like it's the same harpoon that's on the wall itself. I don't... It says to go down, but... There, there we go. Alright. Ooh. There's a knife. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. But that wasn't used to kill him. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Oh. That's gotta suck. So we're gonna look for maybe somebody with a wound that's taken recently. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Yeah, and you can see on the blood that it was left by there previously. Ooh. Oh, it skipped it. Oh, well. These abbreviations mean something. But what? I'm pretty sure he was talking about how the blood was kind of dropped after the fact. You know? I think. Now we got here two wine glasses. I drank from this glass recently. So he actually met with somebody. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems uh, that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Yeah, because I don't usually you only drink from the same glass all the time. Not have two unless you have a guest. The initials P.C. have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. It's probably his old stuff. 
let's see, rotate this around, flip open. This is kind of cool, it's like interactive. Tobacco. Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Okay. I guess I gotta make like a ship or something? I'm not sure. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. There we go. Even though it says tobacco, we gotta figure out it's tobacco. <laughs> Interesting. What's that? Can I do that? No. Nope. Can't do anything with that. I guess uh, this room has been investigated. Flies! What's this Y mean? Oh. Alright. Oh, is this like matching words with thoughts? Can you pin to the wall and break in attempts? No. 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 Alright. What is this? An ambush that made must be made tonight. Break an attempt will be repeated. All right. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. So if we do an ambush for that guy, that'd be a good way to catch him. Then we could take him out and find like, well, did you kill him? Did you kill him? Well, Mr. Rounds, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Yay. We're gonna have to... First, I want to see if this will fit in the footprint. With the boot. Move. No. Boots don't match the footprints. Somebody bigger than him. Hmm. No book. And the tobacco pouch. You need to find that box. Hmm. Before we wait for that guy, can we run? Nope. We can only walk. Walk faster. Let's see if she knows anything about a box. What's in the box? It's Peter a smoker. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. So somebody did take it. They took the box. But maybe that's why he went in the cabin. He went out smoking and drinking and getting all crazy and yelling. Huh, there's like his getaway cabin. It's on the same property. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. Let's see if we can wait for this guy to show up. Do a little bit of ambushing. 
This looks like the perfect hiding place. Yes, right next to the window. Now we're in the cover of night. We're gonna ambush him pretty good. He won't see us coming. Shh. Do you see that? What's over there? Shh. Did you hear that? I heard you. Oh. They're starting to pick it. Oh, somebody just broke in. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! That's it. Hold it right there. Ah. That's when they used to have pistols. Come and see what we've caught in our net. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... J.H.M. You came here yesterday. No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. All right. Where is he? Where's the dude? Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. Good. Belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. I'm gonna go and see this guy who might be the murderer. He might be. But who knows? Maybe he's just in there at the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. You can never tell. But it looks pretty good on the evidence side anyways. Alright, let's check out his stuff. These are the suspect's belongings. Yeah. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Evidence is required. Okay. Pocket knife. Pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Hmm. Handkerchief. A handkerchief with the initials J H M. How convenient. What do we got on here? Alright, from our Dustin to my friend and partner, 1883. To my friend? I have to do this the whole way. From R. Dawson. And partner, 1883. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Hmm. Might have to check out the archives in a little bit after we investigate what's going on with this guy. Alright. Open. Magic doors. Locked. I like how he's. I don't know if that was internal or not. Hmm. What's down here? I'm just curious to see what's in here. 
It's the morgue! We don't need it. We already checked out the body, I bet you it's still hanging on the wall. Probably not, that'd be weird. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Anybody in there? Some random guy? 